Now, here comes the music. Hello and welcome back to yet another boring episode of Why You Should Watch. If you haven't already checked out any of my other videos, why not go check them out now? Yes, now. Better yet, maybe consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe later. I do listen to the comments and try to make an episode for animes you suggest, but it does take some time to actually make because I have to watch them and judge if I think it's worth watching. That being said, today's episode is about The Great Pretender by Wit Studio. These are the fantastic people who brought you Attack on Titan, Wadi no Seraf, Vinland Saga, and so much more. Also, in case you're one of those die-hard subs-only fans, here are the voice actors who worked on The Great Pretender. And as you can probably see, there are some favorably big names here, and Wit Studio did not come to play. The show is definitely something you can say will be a good watch when you reflect on 2020 anime, and for many reasons at that. One of the things that caught me out almost immediately was the art style. Wit Studio decided to throw some traditional anime stylized characters, but decided to revamp the supporting frame images with all provided assets, from funky mountains, wacky floors, vibrant skies, and psychedelic buildings. But of course, this isn't something you can deem a selling point in an anime. I just want to point out how unique it was from the first few seconds I watched it. On top of this risky move in selected art style, it surprisingly worked very well for the show and the theme at hand, and I think it could have been probably the best approach to aiding visualization for the story. It was a great approach and they did it successfully. Speaking of the story, The Great Pretender is a show surrounding Edamura Masao, Japan's greatest swindler, supposedly. He and his partner Kudo get tricked by a Frenchman to eventually be led into a series of master plans. Sounds intriguing, right? No? Okay, let me continue then. The story begins with committing a risky plan to heist one of the most powerful Hollywood mafia with a drug swindle. I don't want to say too much more, as from here on end, the story picks up massively, and we wouldn't want any spoilers, would we? The TV and movie references are great as well. I absolutely loved the fact that they briefly mentioned Walter White from the Breaking Bad series, which shows how in touch the studio was with their approach to the anime and its similarities. Another aspect I found quite interesting is that the anime is a subbed anime, and for those lousy fools who may not know what that means, it means an anime spoken in the native Japanese language with foreign supporting subtitles. However, this being said, the beginning of the anime is done in English, with terrible pronunciation by our lead Japanese protagonist. But don't go thinking that this anime pulled terrible dubbed voice acting for no reason, as it actually is a canon piece of the story which gets referenced later in the series. But it is still funny hearing the terrible English dubbing, regardless. Did you drop this? I'm sorry. You better check inside. The OST hits somewhere hard with the jazz vibes and it's definitely something that develops the story with the old school sneaky jazz vibes. This is quite similar to the Pink Panther if I had to give a terrible reference. But the story isn't just about heists and con artists, as the story does progress into something far more deep and controversial that addresses many social issues in our current society, whether it may be big or small topics. Some examples may include slave trading, stealing, being morally correct, as well as taking ownership for your own actions. This is a show you could consider a generic crime anime, with a hash bit of drama, but of course this isn't meant to be your Walking Dead survival series with plot twists that make you lose brain cells to the choices made in the prior episode. No. Instead, this is an anime that is made to capture you for a brief moment in your day, where we watch over the politically correct criminal protagonist with a moral complex, and see how he decides to approach his life with every harsh obstacle that life throws at him, and we see him overcome his petty excuses. That was definitely a mouthful to say, and probably quite hard to digest. Sorry, but I said what I meant, and meant what I said. I wouldn't call this a must watch of the year, but I would say this is far more than an enjoyable watch if you're stuck at home in desperation for entertainment. I'm starting to make the show sound really bad by saying that, but it is far greater than what I just described in my last statement. Trust me. I've been Yokai, thanks for watching, and peace out. Shadow Satan on the plane.